and keep that vibe from a side down. You are there, ladies and gents. How's it going? I recently got myself a Works Hydroshot uh, electric jet wash, and I thought I'd show you a little bit about it and uh, give it a little demo while we're doing so. Now, it's a pretty cool bit of kit. It's, uh, it doesn't require a hose, so you can pick it up from a bucket, which means you can have hot water quite easily. It's quite a neat device. The battery just clips on, and then plug in your water feed, and then stick your hose or your pipe into your water. Like I say, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. The pack I got comes with the battery, comes with a, the uh, pipe for plugging into a bucket. It also comes with a brush and a uh, soapy water feed as well. Now I'm not using that because I'm using a, a spray foam cleaning product once I've rinsed this off. Now the bike is absolutely filthy um, because I'm not really good at cleaning it when I get home from a ride because I'm normally pretty knackered and it's normally quite late. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how this cleans up. My Triumph, my 765, I cleaned with this the other day and that came up really well. I was really impressed. But a dirt bike is obviously pushing the boundaries of these things a little bit harder. So uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. To uh, make it go, so to speak, you have to push in this button and pull this trigger. I'm a left-handed person, so it'd actually be really handy if it had the option of doing that on the right-hand side. But I've got small hands anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I just use my trigger finger. And there it goes. All you have to do is prime it. You've got to get the water to cycle all the way through the uh, hose and then back in to the pump itself. There we go. Let's change that to uh, a wider angle. That's a good thing about this. It's got several different angles which give you different pressure as you go up and spread that water out. So this setting here is just really a, a, a soaking setting, it gets it wet, which is a start, I guess. Um, as you can see, there is a lot of mud on this bike. So I'm probably going to need to up the pressure a little bit to get it to shift some of this stuff. So let's uh, swap that round to a little finer one. There we go. Now it's not as pressureful. as uh, the ones you get which are electric so then that makes it a little bit more bike friendly I think as it's less likely to cause some damage to the various different bits and bobs on the bike I don't know what the battery life is like on it um, from what I gather you can do several cars with it so doing multiple motorcycles on one car shouldn't ever really be too much of a problem Now it's got a bit of hope for this bit, on the 0 degrees one. I wouldn't suggest putting this anywhere near your brake line or um, your chain or radiators if you've got them. As most people don't recommend, don't recommend using a jet wash on those particular things as it can cause some damage. This is doing a grand job of getting all that mud and muck out from underneath the engine between the sump guard though. So uh, it has got enough pressure on it. It's just some mud, which is good. I've currently got a hot water bucket going. And generally speaking, a hot water bucket is going to shift a lot of stuff, but they don't recommend using hot water when your bike's salty. Now mine isn't salty, it's just dirty. Uh, it's still getting quite a lot of pressure on the number two setting, but it's a little bit milder than the one I had it on with it just in the single point. Now this bike, because it doesn't get cleaned very often, isn't necessarily going to come up all spotless after this clean, um, and I wouldn't expect it to. It needs a little bit of a deep clean to be honest, and uh, if I was going to set it, then I would do so 
so I'm actually going out on it again in a, a few days I think there's very little point in me giving it a deep clean when it's just going to be filthy again when it's returned I just want to get the worst of it off I should do this after every ride and that's one of the reasons why I got this is to make it a little bit more convenient to give the bike a clean once I've been out on it for a bit oh it's certainly going to be a lot nicer <laughs> the amount of mud I'm taking off this now like I say you'll never get as powerful a pressure washer as you can with the main one that puts out a decent amount of water at the same time as the pressure but for something just to get the worst off this is uh, really really handy I'm really pleased with it certainly for the low level cleaning stuff like I'm doing here where yeah, all I'm really trying to do is get the encrusted stuff off the bike I'm actually going to put some snow foam on the bike in a minute just because I've got some I don't know how well it will do its thing on a bike that spends most of its life just getting muddy don't get the same road grime on an off-road bike you just get the crappiness from all the puddles and shit anyway right let's go cover it in some snow foam so i'm using this stuff which is the unlimited passion ultimate active cleaning foam and uh yeah it got me some good results on my trip so let's see what it does to this thing here the dirty little bastard that it is Okay, so that's the uh, snow foam applied. Let's uh, give it a rinse. And that's two buckets of water killed. Now, the bike is still filthy, but as you can see, all this stuff here, I'd have easily got it off if I'd actually wiped the bike down a little bit with a sponge and stuff. So, um, yeah, I could have done a much better job with a little bit more effort. This was more a case to see what this jet wash will do as a uh, um, welcome addition to my garage. And it does, it does a grand job. So this is the Works Hydroshot. It's a 20 volt one. I think they do a 40 volt one in America, but I don't think we can get that in the UK at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I'm quite impressed. I like it. Um, it's certainly got the majority of the big chunks of crap off the bike, which is what I wanted to do today. Uh, like I say, if I was going to clean the bike like properly to either sell it or something like that, then I would have uh, put a little bit more effort into this. And um, I would have... Uh, got a sponge out and stuff and bathed everything properly uh, but in the meantime the works hydro shot it does what it says on the tin pretty much um, and from what I've heard you get about six char uh, six bikes out of one battery 
which isn't too bad, isn't too bad at all. And this time of year, it's so nice to be able to use a uh, hot water clean on your bike because you do get cold fingers very quickly using cold water. Anyhow, the audio on this is probably pretty rubbish, so um, yeah, I hope it at least shows how good this kit is for what it is. It's not a complete solution to your jet washing requirements, but for those of you without a hose feed to your cleaning area or whatever, it's damn handy when you can just pick it up from a bucket. You can even pick it up from a pond if you so wanted to, or the sea if you were uh, doing marine stuff with it. But yeah, I'm quite impressed, quite impressed indeed. And uh, I think uh, I could have shown you it in much better light had I got a sponge out and put a bit of elbow grease in. But today is a lazy day for me. It's a day off work, the sun's shining. I really shouldn't be cleaning my bike. I should be blowing out riding it making it more dirty, but that's for another day. Anyhow, um, I hope you found this informative, interesting and entertaining of sorts, and um, my editing skills showed this in a reasonable light. I do apologise for not making it spotlessly clean for those of you with OCD regarding cleaning motorcycles, but this is good enough for me. It's good enough um, considering I'm going out dirt biking on it soon. Anyways, if you haven't done so already, please click that subscribe button. It would be awesome to have you come back for some more. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a little thumbs up. And if you didn't, it's all good. You can always give it a little thumbs down. That doesn't matter. It doesn't bother me at all. But anyway, whatever you do, please do drop in a comment. If you've got one of these, um, or if you've uh, had some bad experiences with one, I'd be uh, really happy to hear those. And uh, if you've got any positive ones too. Now, um, I don't just clean motorcycles. I ride them. And you'll find some videos of me doing so in uh, my back catalogue. Also go visit castles and stuff like that um, and review the odd high-tech camera. I do like my 360 cameras and the likes, so you might find something interesting there too. Anyhow, I've waffled on enough. So, if you ride, ride safe, take care, and I shall catch you all in the next one. But bye for now. And keep that bar from down. You know, you gotta keep that bar. Rubber side down.